Hello, everybody. We're back with more Dark Souls. It's been a while. It's been a long while. Not a, well, it's been like a couple months. Something like that. Hey, Shrek. How you doing? I hope that 20 minute wait wasn't too long. So, just gonna go through here real quick and delete this. So, the mod is definitely working. A big upset when I was testing on the uh, first boss there. So, let's see. A scorched snake seems appropriate. And with with every time, with every new game of Dark Souls that we play, yeah, I'll get the Master Key twice. Uh, we always do something very specific, or very special. And let's see, first we've got to choose our hair. What are we feeling like this time? Very short. I think I like the wavy. Let's have some wavy hair on our gal. And, uh, this doesn't matter, because we're going to change to green. But yeah, we always, uh, we always customize our face here. And in other Souls games, it's a lot easier, because you can do it, like, by increments of ten at a time. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, I gotta... I can't sh can't show what she looks like until the end, that's just rude. Uh, we're gonna go... Left, right... Left, left, right. Oh, the skin color's... Fuck it. I guess we're gonna be orange or purple or something. We're gonna gonna skip around on this one because I don't really care. Actually, no. Let's go more toward green here. More toward blue. More toward light. Yeah, we're just gonna be kind of weird. There we go. Can't really go quite green. So, let's see. So that was right, and here's the left. Like I was saying, this is a little faster than the other Souls games. Right. Left. Wait. No, right, right here. Oh, she's gonna be fucking beautiful, Abyssal, you'll see. Right. For the second time. And we've done almost every combination of this as we could. I've never tried on purpose. I've never, like, watched myself deform- I mean, make beautiful one of these girls. No, this was already supposed to be the right. And then left. But maybe someday, I'll I'll take a crack at it, see what I can do. But not today. Today we leave it up to the gods. And what I assume would be either white or black peoples. Go right here. And then left, and then two more rights after this. It's amazing, it's great. I love it. It might seem a little tedious, a little boring, but the, the payoff for the beauty that we're about to see... It's just unparalleled. It's just... It's like paying off that $500,000 debt in Reseteer. That final week. It's just... You know, nothing quite like it. I do wish I could skip by tens, though. And back left. Wow, these ones aren't moving each other at all. That's weird. And then we'll do a left after this. So, to talk about what we're gonna do, since now we're, we're getting near the end of this, we're playing a mod called the Scorched Contract. Now, what that means, it means every time we kill a boss, something interesting happens. Also, it turns out, interesting things happen even before you kill the boss. 
Or maybe that happened as I killed him. I'm not really sure. But, uh, even the Asylum Demon shows some distinct changes. Go right again. Uh, unexpected changes. I liked it. It was different. I don't know if every boss is going to be like that, but basically it's just a special challenge. It's not supposed to be the hardest thing in the world from my from my knowledge. But it is supposed to make thing it's supposed to spice things up a bit. And because of that, we're not going to do any other particular challenges. I'm going to probably go naked just because. And hair color, of course. What other color is there? Not any good ones, that's what. All right, here we go. Da 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 da. <laughs> oh, ain't she a beauty? Oh, she's got a hell of an Adam's apple and a very straight chin. Very straight. I'm loving that. That five o'clock shadow mustache. She. Oh man. I look at those full lips. The slightly sad eyebrows. She knows what she's in for, so she's a little sad. I can't blame her. But no, she's she's gonna be great. That mask may not cover up her face. I don't think it can hold it back, to be honest. It'll probably just fall away soon. So, I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls 3 lately been playing with a buddy. Uh, this game does not play like Dark Souls 3, so I'm, I'm probably gonna fuck up a little bit. Let's see if anything special happens. I don't know exactly what the extent of the mod is. I don't know if individual enemies might have easter eggs or goodies. So I'm not gonna try to skip anybody on purpose, unless it's just getting tedious. Like, I'm probably gonna skip through Blight Town because fuck Blight Town. Uh, but what build am I going for, Abyssal? Oh yeah, Hollow Face! That's right! Oh boy. She, her, her lips are teeth. Her lips turned into teeth. That's a good zombie face, actually. Like, legitimately, that's a good zombie face. That's good shit right there. So we went for the STD bomb because we want to kill the Abyss uh, Asylum Demon fast. Because why wait, right? Now, something I do dislike about Dark Souls 3 is that being naked is super detrimental to your health. While well, being naked here is just a bad idea. I don't know if I dodged just then. That was weird. Oh, see? So, when I killed him, the world went wonky for a second. I get pushed back. I got a little damaged by that. He has a fucking evil halo and his weapon is fucking glowing. That was a bad time to throw that. I don't have enough bombs to kill him now, is part of the problem. So... I... I'm gonna try. I'm gonna be careful with these bombs, I don't want to waste any. Oh, I took that to the chin as my camera lodged itself in the wall. Oh god, there goes one into the fucking atmosphere. So he has too much health now. And if you notice, I'm just doing a whole lot of nothing. Like it's a whole lot of nothing. It would take us much longer to kill this demon than it would the original. So I think we're just gonna bail. To be honest. I might get a super special gift for killing him, but we're, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. 
Are you Mr. Face, Frosty? All right. We'll give you another close-up. In case anyone else forgot, anyway. So here's her zombie form. Her hollow face. I'm trying to get a... Yeah, that'll, that'll do. So she's looking pretty good, I think. Very straight chin, hard to tell. It's very smooth under there. Yeah, two damage swings, not cutting it, literally. The tide's too tough. We get a target shield, which we will not be using. Like I said, not necessarily doing any challenges, but I have my, my particular style. Being naked, no shield is kind of my thing at this point. Uh, back to Abyssal, as far as this particular build. I was gonna go Strength, because I was expecting to get that thing's hammer, and then I could work toward the hammer, even though the hammer's not very good. Uh, but then, if you notice, uh, I couldn't kill him. So... Did, are you gonna give me more than the regular stuff? Yeah, 100 souls. Nope, he didn't give us anything. Yeah, you can get the hammer by giving the sack to the birds. But I, I like it. I, I just kind of like getting it here, too. Man, this thing is rain. This thing's range is the worst. Yeah, I won't get the bag till later. Granted, I won't have the strength to wield the hammer for a long fucking time anyway. Like, it'll be a minute, for sure. I'm wondering if he changed the position of any other enemies, or did anything special. So far, it's... pretty normal? Oh, this weapon has bleed! That's right. That's pretty good. I do like bleed weapons. Is he still glowy? Yes! Maybe we can go bleed based. I don't really know the bleed weapons too well in this game. I know Lepon Scythe, that thing's amazing. But we don't get that until uh, a little later. That's Priscilla's weapon, isn't it? Oh, no stamina. I'm just gonna safety heal. Because why not? Ah, uh, what? Wait, you died again? Or did the model just not change back? Alright, get the fuck up. Get over here. Oh, I got hit by the... Oh, he was in his first form. Huh. Well, I'm glad I'm bleeding him. Actually, fuck it. I might as well swing faster, right? That's stamina. All right in his balls, too. I'm actually glad we picked uh, the knife for this. It's making this a lot easier. A lot less time consuming. Oops. There we are. First boss down. Big Pilgrim's Key. Humanity. What the fuck is that? That is foreboding. Oh man. That is legitimately creepy. Can also see certain things through it. Examine Mass of Darkness. I examined it. Nothing happened. Oh! Oh god. Oh god. 
Oh god. Is this like... Fuck. Oh, this is like, um... Shit. L um... Not Ico, not Last Guardian. Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking Shadow of the Colossus over here. That's awesome. All right, let's see. So that's that's a strong start. That's a really strong start. Scorch contract, foreign document. Bearer must kill all bosses to face Gwyn. Okay, all bosses run. Contract that binds his owner to two stipulations. Contract bearer must defeat all bosses to challenge the Lord of Cinder, and each defeated boss amends his contract with additional requirement. An additional requirement. The origin of this document are mysterious, and is most likely the product of some malevolent force, but to what end? And I thought I picked up something else, too. Purple nullification waiver. Seductive note. Prematurely end contract. Some changes will persist. Danger begets cowardice, as this form shows. We were pre-signed to allow the escape from the contract should one desire, but its nature makes clear that this is only a last resort. So if you want to stop using the mod, you can kind of use that. Okay. All right, I'm going to sit down, because we're actually kind of fucked up. This mod actually has some stuff put into it. I'm liking this. At first I'm like, okay, they added some effects to the, to the boss. What? Oh. That was weird. <laughs> but no, there's actual new stuff in this. I wonder if any of the items are changed around. Probably not. This ain't no randomized run. Then that would be fun. The first locked door can't be open. You have to hit the door a thousand times, and then there's a chance it'll open. Hmm. So, I, a Great Scythe. That sounds fun. Yeah, a Great Scythe is a dex. Uh, but yeah, bleeding. I could go dex. Dex isn't bad. No matter how much Reddit might complain about it. Dex is fun. Yeah, why don't we do... You know what? Let's just get Dex to 18, because there's a... There's a katana uh, from that merchant I can grab. Now I'm just going to be on the lookout for black masses just fucking sitting... They're probably only going to spawn from bosses, but you never know. So I don't need the Zweihander, so I'm not going to go that way. That would be my go-to big weapon. I am going to grab this stuff just for fun. Actually, do I even need to? Is there any... I think there might be home bones over here, which are always good. Oh, man, if he... If he switched out some boxes for... Uh, fucking mimics... That would be the best mod in the world. That's the mod I've never seen. Just randomized mimics. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. A stock. Theory, stop it. Hey. Stop it. Cat's trying to go through the window. I was actually thinking about the Astok, uh, today, earlier today, and then I forgot. Thank you for reminding me. I love the Astok. That's one of my favorite weapons. And this thing's range is awful, so I'd rather not use it much. Although, for bosses, like, that quick bleed damage, it's pretty good. Not gonna lie. I, I like it. The Astok is nice and pointy, though, so... And the charging attack is great. What? What do you mean it's locked? That's... Oh! Oh! This is that 
That's new in there, also. There's not supposed to be a body in there. Oh no. I think Abyssal may have set me up to fail. The sh the nerve. Hey. All right, one second. I gotta close my window. My cat's being nuts. Okay, sorry about that. She was trying to get her best to get through the window at, like, a male mosquito or something. Uh, you know what? Now let, let us investigate the graveyard, now that we know that items have been moved and doors have been locked. He probably didn't change everything. Like, a lot of things will just be the way they are. However, a quick run-through will kill us, but it won't negatively impact the run. Hmm. Nothing different here. Yeah, I don't think he'd ever change that, because people would be pissed if they couldn't get that weapon. This weapon will take you through the entire game. Oh fuck. I'm getting caught. I'm getting caught! I can't get through here! I didn't know! I don't know this area that well. Oh no! I'm supposed to go in front of the grave, not behind the grave. It's a rookie mistake. Bleed all the skeletons, yeah, totally. Oh no, the death count. Just gonna grab this as well, why not? Well, maybe you won't have to count ever again, Shrike. Maybe that'll be the only death in a mod that I don't know what will happen, or what the negative debuffs will be. This thing is awful. Oh, I can't even grab the, uh, the easy Estus shard, which I probably would have grabbed as well. We could have ring a sacrifice though. That I'll never use. Just wanted to grab it. My dagger's better than your dagger. I showed him. Him and his unlimited firebombs. Oh, right. He didn't care. Oh no, he's alive. Come, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, I did it. I'm so good at this game. Oh, Firekeeper Soul, sorry. You're right. <laughs> I'm completely mixing up the games. You don't need SS shards in this game, you just need that. Th that fire keeper seal thing from the many faced man. I don't remember th apparently anything. <laughs> I can't remember a goddamn thing. You know, the boss that everyone kind of fights and ignores because he's so easy. It's great.
the mirror knight. <laughs> yeah, if I mean if he existed. Oh. I do I do not like this. I do not like this weapon. Remember when the Mirror Knight broke your ears as a player? Because the sound effect for the lightning was just completely fucking broken? Remember that? Remember how they pushed that live and somehow that passed through Q&A and just no one noticed? What was up with that? For some reason, I didn't think his backswing would go that far. Cool way to bring the game's consequences. Oh, like the actual sound of thunder that close would break your ears. And then he's enchanted too, and you have to fight him twice. Watch, this door's a lot now. That isn't. It's fine. I got a wooden shield. Whoopty fuck. I am getting nice souls, though. I'm actually, says, I'm surprised I'm seeing any signs. Uh, he'll drop the key and the sword. Why don't we, why don't we go see what he has? Make sure we don't need anything from him. Whoa, that's right. They, they do some weird fucking jumps in this game. Just instant velocity. I got through. Oh, come on. Shouldn't have given them a way down, but... They'll, they'll make their way anyway. Got anything different for once? I'll make I'll buy that. Oh, I want the bottomless box, actually. And... that's pretty much it. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Don't mess up with you! I'll teach you, you lousy rat! You I'm not a lousy rat, you're a lousy rat. Shut up. Got your shit! Now, can I use it yet? Yes, I can. Wait. I can't? Oh, my strength isn't high enough. Oh, well. Need 14 strength. Well, I don't need 14. I need 10. Because I can two-hand it. Whoop, whoop. I'm slightly off of what I need. Ow. Do not want to get caught in that guy's rhythm. Oh, there was a mimic in front of him. That's really funny. Oh, we can we can make that bonfire a little better, actually. Ah, uh, that's like a crossbow or something shitty. I don't care. This ain't a 100% item run, this is just a 100% boss run, it looks like. Or, uh, we play until it gets boring, if the, uh, 
the rest of it isn't actually that interesting. We'll see. I hope it is. It seems so far. We'll just have to make sure we go through it pretty quick. Because the stuff in between doesn't look like it's too different yet. Wait, we have to sit down, reverse, and then kindle. It's been so long. 